All right, so for the past few videos, we saw how we could combine the AND function or the OR function with the IF function to test multiple conditions. Well, we could also combine multiple IF functions together, so that way we can test further than just one scenario. For example, let's say that we want a formula that returns the value of a letter grade depending on that person's score. So for Corey, he got an 89. So for our grade, we want to return a B. And for Megan, she got a 76. So for the letter grade, we would want to return a C. So we can combine multiple if functions together to make this possible. So let's click inside the first cell within the grade column and then come up to the formula bar to start typing in our formula. So we need to start off with the equal sign and then use the if function. Open parentheses. So for our first logical test, we want to see if this person's score qualifies to get an A. So we can select Corey's score for the cell reference. And let's say to receive an A for your grade, your score has to be greater than or equal to 90. So we would put the greater than sign then the equal sign, and then type in 90. So that's our first logical test. And then we can put a comma and put a value if this condition is true. So if the score is greater than or equal to 90, we would want this formula to return an A. So we can put open quotes, A, close quotes. And then we can put a comma to move into our false argument. So if this person's grade is not greater than or equal to 90, what do we want to return? Well, depending on that person's score, it can vary of what we want to return. Because if they have a score that gets them a B grade, we want to return a B. But if they have a score that has a C grade, we want our formula to return a C. So we can't just put one value for our false argument. So this is where we start to nest if formulas together. So for our false argument, all we have to do is start another if function. So we can put if, open parentheses, and then start this whole process over again. But this time, we are going to test to see if this person's score gets them a B grade. So we can take the same cell reference of B3 then greater than or equal to, and since we are testing for a B grade, we can say that this person's score has to be greater than or equal to 80 to get a B. So we can put comma, and if this condition is true, we need to return the letter B. So that's basically how we can nest if functions together, but we need to do this for each letter grade because we have A, B, C, D, and F. So really quickly, let's finish out this formula for each letter grade. So we need to put a comma for the false argument and then type in another if function. Use the same cell reference. Now we are testing for a C grade. So we can put greater than or equal to anything above 70. We'll get this person a C, comma, Another if function, same cell reference. And now we are testing for a D grade, so greater than, equal to, so let's say anything above 65, but still below 70, will give us a D. And then for our last argument, how can we write this formula to return the value of a F grade? So let's say if a person scores anything lower than a 65, they will receive an F. Well, we could put another if function here and state that if B3 is less than or equal to 64, return F. But since we already have the values in place for A, B, C, and D, and if none of those conditions are met, we can just produce the false value of the letter F. And that's it. And all we have to do now is close our formula, 
And since that we have four different if functions nested together, we need to put four close parentheses. And Excel will automatically help you close these parentheses if you forget to put them on there. But now if we click enter, let's see what this formula will produce. So for Corey, he scored at 89, which is greater than or equal to 80. So he received the grade B. So let's copy this formula down for the rest of our cells and see what the formula returns for these different scores. So we can click in the cell with our formula in it and double click the fill handle. So for Megan, she scored a 76, which is greater than or equal to 70. So she received a C and Ryan received an A because his score was greater than or equal to 90. Now remember, we didn't have to include another if function to return an F value. Because if the person didn't score anything greater than or equal to 65, they automatically receive an F. And that's what happened here with Brittany. She scored a 62, which is lower than a 65, so she received an F. So that's how we can combine or nest if functions together to test multiple conditions. And instead of just returning one value if the condition is true and one value if the condition is false, we can keep expanding the if function to return multiple values.